First, for a 3D scene, you need to make all your cutouts onto rotoscopes and compound clip them. After that, you can delete them and add a fusion comp because we're using just the fusion page for this. Add beat markers before you go into the fusion page. Once you're in the fusion page, drag in one of your cutouts and rename it. Close the inspector tab. Now click your image and add an image plane node. Then a merge 3D node and a renderer. This are important. Connect the renderer node to media out, then add a camera node and connect it to the merge 3D. You may not see anything, but that's because nothing is in view of the camera. Click the camera node and zoom it out with the Z translation. To add another image, drag in your media and just add an image plane node to it, then connect it to the merge 3D node. Since this is the background, move it back more with the Z translation and scale it to size. You can also add a color correction node to your image and adjust it. Let's add more and move them around with different translations. For this one, I'm just going to move forward, to the right, then down to give it more of a 3D look. I'm just going to repeat those steps to set up a scene. Now we're going to add more, except in front of everything we have added now. Like usual, drag an image in, give it an image plane node, and connect it to the merge 3D node. Let's move him forward. Put your image in a position that looks the best on the camera view. Click the camera node so we can zoom out and see how it looks. We can adjust some things as we keep editing. Making quick adjustments. Let's add in another image. For this one, I'm going to move him to the front because this is the last image of Luffy. Now, if you go to the camera node, you can see everything you added and how it looks by moving the camera around. Now let's add keyframes for the camera node. Keyframe the X, Y, and Z in translation at the beginning of the fusion clip. We won't be using the rotation today. With the beat markers you made, open the spline tab and keyframe your camera to the beat markers and how you want it to look. Should move something like this. Let's smoothen the movement. Click the camera node and open the spline tab. Click each offset, press Ctrl A, then S to smoothen the graph. Results. Now that you have the camera movement, you can adjust more things you added, maybe even add movement to objects. Results. For extra, you can add motion blur in the renderer node. Add shakes and overlays. Bad playback speed low. Finally, if you copy everything you made, you can turn it into a compound clip and reverse it. <laughs>